Hey Cat Gangas, Deva here with another exciting video. I've been pretty busy the last two days with a cool fault record run flexing and we may go back to it with melee weapons since they're much stronger than ranged on cool but for now I can finally go in peace back to builds because there is so many KR weapons left to cover. But before we go to a new weapon class for example switch axe or boar so I want to get down with the Blast and Paralysis Charge Blade because they're also decent if not better than Sapi in certain conditions which I will explain in this video without much blah blah. So let's have a first look on the KR Crush RCB and how much damage difference it has in comparison to the Sapi meta build. The super high affinity from Crusher allows us to ignore the lack of level 4 slots in the weapon and can be built just as good as Sapi. On a max out build, this weapon will have 6% less raw damage than Safi Jiva, but it has more than double the status and the skill crit status built in in the weapon, which means you will get more blast procs. Every single blast proc is 300 damage and equals to about 1.2% damage increase. So if you get just 5 more blast procs than Safi Jiva during a hunt, they become equal and every blast from there on will be technically more damage than Safi. But 5 extra blast procs are not guaranteed or that easy to get in addition unless the monster is pretty blast weak. But yeah, definitely not far apart, so if you're tired from using the Safi since it's a nice side grade on blast weak monsters, even though we have now transmog and allows you to do the fashion hunting while also using meta builds, and I'm not the biggest fan of the transmog feature they added because it will make uh, fashion weapons useless and now literally everyone can go with meta weapons by just using transmog to make them look good. Moving to the Paral Charge Blade which has 10% less raw damage than Safi instead but makes it much easier than Blast to beat Safi simply because of the super high para and crit status. You're guaranteed to get 2 paras on decently weak monsters and a lot more on 3 star weak monsters. A Paralysis is one of the biggest CCs in the game and will allow you to get super high DPS for a short amount of time. It's about 8 seconds on like 99% of the monsters, I think except Sinogre. This makes easily up the 10% damage loss, so Para CB is definitely viable if not better for para weak monsters and definitely better than Safi on multiplayer. If you paralyze a monster just once in multiplayer, it increases the DPS for 4 player, so the little bit less raw over Safi is absolutely irrelevant at that point when it shortens easily the multiplayer hunts. But remember, the monster should have at least one star weakness so you get that second para off too to make it a viable side grade to Safi Jiva. And you know, some will say, okay, why not just use uh, directly Safi Jiva when it's more damaged? Because it doesn't guarantee you, like, you depend on the monster's AI, but when you have para, you can somewhat script the fight, and it's basically like having two free traps, and so you don't need to get good performance to deal good damage. You automatically have good performance because the monster will not be moving. These builds are pretty flexible, which means you can replace attack jewels for 3 guard, blast or para, and one extra jewel to go back to 100% affinity on the para charge blade since it has only 15% affinity in comparison to the blast 20%. Augments should be on both builds 1 attack and 1 health regeneration and on augments modes you definitely wanna go for 7 attack unless you want to go for full element for having uh, more blast procs or maybe you are able to get one more power off. I don't find offensive card necessary at all on CB because it's not a skill that is always active and lasts for only 15 seconds. So for a Savage Axe and SAD mixed gameplay this is your best bet, but you can drop health boost if you really wanna go for the tiny bit of extra damage and use this build instead. Hope you all enjoyed this short video and if so be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you want to see next, I may cover it. I still owe you the Dual Blades Ultra DPS builds which is probably the next thing I'm going to work on. The build can anyway be found already in my meta builds in our discord server. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome builds guides and speedrun videos. With that said, I wish you all a nice day and happy hunting guys.